by default in iOS 17 and before navigation stack with navigation link has this push transition between your root view and your detail view and then of course the back button iOS 18 and the new SwiftUI version have introduced two new view modifiers that we can use to change this push transition. And the first one that we need is called Matched Transition Source. So this is very similar to the Match Geometry Effect API, except for that Match Geometry Effects can only be applied within a single view, whereas a Matched Transition Source or Matched Transition Effect can be applied throughout an entire navigation stack and throughout a navigation action with a link and a destination. This Transition Source, just as a Match Geometry Effect, needs a namespace, which you can just create like this. And then also an ID, which has to be the same in your source and your uh, destination, basically. So the second view modifier that we need is the one that we apply to our detail view that we want to animate in or transition in. It's called navigation transition. Currently, there is only one type available, which is the dot zoom transition. I would expect that new ones might get added to this or new cases might get added to this enum over time with future iOS versions. You once again have to provide the identifier, which conveniently is called source ID. So you know that these uh, correspond to each other. They have to be exactly the same. And then of course the namespace also has to be the same. And then with these two modifiers applied to your source view and your uh, destination view. We can now click on the globe again and you can see that we have this um, hero slash zoom in transition effect going on, which can be uh, very nice, for example, for a card that uh, expands or like a list row that expands. So just two new lines of code, basically for free, you get this new hero slash zoom in animation. I hope you enjoyed and make sure you subscribe to this channel to not miss any of the other iOS 18 and WWDC 24 news.